Well, good morning, everybody. Welcome to another beautiful Friday morning. It's already been crazy today. I've been loading seed, put four boxes of seed on for dad. Last night I was out planting soybeans. I had to do a small repair to a loose hydraulic hose on the row commanders. And I gotta get this out to dad. I brought the four wheeler with so I can ride that back home. It's only two miles away. It's nice enough out for a nice little joy ride. And then I don't have to bother grandma. I got two diggers rolling today. I am trying to get my butt off the yard for my bean planter so we can get two planters going, two diggers going. Eric's out spreading fertilizer. And then we got Steve driving truck and picking up seed and moving trucks around. And then grandpa's picking rock. So we got a full crew going today. It's gonna be very difficult to organize them all. Tony just giving her. So just when I thought that the corn ground wasn't ready, Randy drove up there and said, I think it'll go, especially after a nice warm and sunny, windy day today. <sighs> that means everybody goes up north. We just drop everything around the farm. The far around the farm's a lot more mellow soil. Up north, just heavy, heavy gumbo. So when it's ready, you go. Because if you get a half inch or an inch of rain, you could be out for a week and a half, two weeks. When that ground's ready, you drop everything and you get going up that way. So that's what I think we're doing. They're gonna be just knocking out acres with the diggers today. I think Tony's gonna be digging for me. He's gonna be digging soybean ground, so corn stalks. And Randy's gonna be trying to stay ahead of the high speed planter by himself. So they got their work cut out for him. He's on a beautiful half section here. So he's got mile long rounds by half a mile. It gets a little cut up. There's some lake shore over there, but he's gonna get a lot done today. He's gonna catch the diggers, I have a feeling. <laughs> That was nice when the truck driver, the seed tender, puts the auger out so then when you're backing up, you know exactly where you need to stop so that you're lined up with everything. Tad bit dusty. Woo! That sounds exciting. Scare Eric. See you later, buddy. Everything looks great. Done good. It's 50 too fast for the crossroads.
He's got to go in reverse. Blew a tranny code. <laughs> the old code track. <laughs> Has to restart it. <laughs> and it's all caught on camera. There's a reason we call them code tracks. Gotta always restart them. So this is the one Randy drives. It's a 65 foot field cultivator. If you want to be technical, we call it a digger. Us Minnesotans up here. Look at that hair. <laughs> wow. So one thing I really, really, really miss uh, on top of a lot of things about not going home at night is I have to make my own lunch. Guess what I forgot in the lunch pail last night without putting back in the refrigerator. So now I got a warm mellow and I got to make sandwiches and I got to get going. Miss you, Nikki. Well, the essentials of life. Like I need more caffeine. Can you tell I've had a couple mellows already today and it's 10.30? Uh, why did I buy carrots? I went to the grocery store hungry before we got cranked up. Spent 200 bucks on stuff that I'm never gonna eat. Don't go shopping for groceries hungry, my mom always said. Now I understand why. All right, I think we're finally ready. That cat tractor is one loud animal. I love it. Wish a new one sounded like that. Well, I planted maybe 100 acres today and I just got to the home farm here planting this. Oh, it's a cut up bugger, but can't get much closer to home. But I noticed one of my packer wheels wasn't turning. The bearing seized up. So what better place to fix than right at home. Worked out pretty good. And the shop truck's right there too. Fixing there up. So that ain't uncommon. We looked them over in the shop and tried to replace what we think is stiff, but it's a mechanical piece. What can I say? It fails when it wants to. And the other one, the rubber got tore on something. So I just figured since I'm doing it, replace them both. And I tried to replace it because I carry one in the cab. I tried to replace it out there, but that Milwaukee fuel's got so much torque, my little wrench didn't stand a chance. All right, let's go plant a little more. Get to plant right along the shed now. I don't like planting along the shed. It's within three to five feet of the shed, so you never know, things could happen. Along these evergreens trees too, I try to stay back maybe three feet so that our sprayer tips don't kill the trees because Merlin and Duggo would probably hurt me if I killed off the trees along the farm. Little fun fact about these uh, trees, when I was about eight, I would say around eight, we planted them and they were only like a foot tall. Look at how big they are now. All of 20, 25 footers. And then down by our LP barrel here, coming up shortly, right here, all these trees all the way up to there, we moved in from a tree line in one of our farms. That's why we own a tree spade, because we wanted more of a windbreak and a snow catch for the bend site. So that's actually why we own a tree spade. Plus we did a few custom drops and uh, moved some to our private residential houses. That's why we own a tree spade. So much to watch. Well, will you look at that. It's time to fill up again. So I got an issue going on with our seed tender and as long as we've owned it, it really never sits out unless it's being used. But when we bought it, it was a holdover. So it sat out for a year. My actuator on my choke, which is automated, so you use the gun, yeah, that quit working, so now the choke's stuck on full. So she smokes black and doesn't sound the best. I ordered a new one at Kibble, but won't be here for a few days. And it's a weekend, of course, now. Tomorrow's Saturday, so I probably won't have it till mid next week. So I might be taking the cable off when I get time and just running it manually. You can see how that shield is turning black from it missing and not running good at all. Running a bit rich, I would say.
nothing to it. Ready for another 120 acres. Auto steer is so nice, so nice. Coming up some real live action up here. Gets real tight, out of control really quickly. Look both ways before crossing. A lot of stuff happens really quickly right here. It's like 80 feet wide right up in here and it is just terribly difficult to maneuver. Somewhat soft too, so the old good old T-track is really digging. So it is 10.30 now, so I imagine my grandparents are wanting to go to bed and I'm literally right by the house. Right there is the house. There's only one light on. Sorry grandma, sorry grandpa, but I literally only have 15 acres left and it's getting done tonight. Well, I got it done. I didn't get a phone call that saying, get them lights out of our bedroom window. It's 11 o'clock, it ain't too bad. Doug goes home. Fuel are up. Man, I wish I had lights like that. That's pretty nice. Give me at the fuel, man. Give me some fuel. Can't see anything. It's so bright. I love being in the field. You get her down out there? You want one or two? Double penetration is better than one. <laughs> Full service around here. Belts are pretty cool. He took a 15, 20 mile drive with quite a bit of fertilizer on board. I didn't like to do that, but I did it. Tracks are nice and cool. It drove 17 miles an hour only. 600 gallons on you. Yeah, I'm sure it ain't good on it. But that's what happens when everybody goes to bed and <laughs> got no way home. Lose our drivers to get home. You know, we did uh, 870 acres together today. I did 350 and you did the remainder. Yeah, not a bad day for having to get our own seed and stuff. But well, if we take an average, the first three days we did what? Five acres in the, the first day. Yeah, in the, in the... I don't want to remember it. In the first week, we did 1,000 acres of corn in five days. That's that's horrible. But it was horrible. We did that it, almost in one day. Told you, don't remind me. <laughs> Can I go home now? Shortly. Boy, your rig is a lot brighter than mine. I wish I had lights like this. Maybe next year. Upgrades. Light upgrades or something. Something's getting upgraded. I hope you do better with the upgrade than I did. Uh, how many years was it? 17 years? So. Yeah, from the 8520 to the 9RX 17-year generation jump. The learning curve almost killed me. <laughs> well, on that note, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I hope you're enjoying the spring videos. I'm enjoying getting them out. Is he going to make this? Good night. Dug out. Dug out. Take it easy. Yard was just not big enough. It's just not big enough. We'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.